Well, it took civilian police officers roughly four minutes to respond to calls from Fort Hood on Thursday. There may actually be a way to get police officers to a scene even faster. There's some new software out there that can detect the sound of gunfire within a second of the shooter pulling the trigger. And that's not all it does. We want to get details now from a radio host and also our tech expert, Mario Armstrong. Good to have you here in studio in Atlanta. In studio. With us. Good to have you here. In studio in Atlanta with you, TJ and Betty. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, here. no. Thanks for being here. And I was amazed when you told me about this yesterday, or how this thing uh, is supposed to work. So explain to the, just the basics of it. How does this thing work? Yeah, so essentially, TJ, what happens here is it's a scenario is if someone shoots a gun in an urban area or inside of a building, audio sensors can detect the precise location of where the that gunfire is taking place to be able to give the law enforcement or first responders a map or a longitude and latitude of exactly the location of where those gunshots took place. So for an example here, we can take a look at exactly what the officers would see before they would actually approach a scene. So this actually is the control panel. You could see this on a PDA in an officer's hand. They could see it in their patrol car or they could actually see it in the command center. Now how long has this type of technology been around and has it been around long enough that a a lot of cities and businesses are starting to use it. Yeah, you know, a lot of places are starting to pick it up. I mean, if you look at it, it's about 40 plus places across the country, cities and counties, and even internationally, it's being used in two locations. Uh, universities like Johns Hopkins University is even using this technology to make sure that their campus is safe. So we still have a lot of coverage yet to still go, but the good news is people are starting to see benefits from this system. P police departments are seeing that they get situational awareness when they approach a scene. They can determine whether or not it was one shooter, whether or not it was a drive-by shooting, or or whether or not it was a 32 caliber gun or a 38 oh, caliber wow. gun. So it can give them a lot of information before they approach the scene. And so the dispatcher can say, hey, you're turning your car in the northeast corner. You're actually heading right into the gun battle. Maybe you should come around from a different direction so you can be safe. OK, la last thing, and it sounds like this is a complicated new technology, right. uh, maybe some kinks to work out. But still, it sounds like you would have to have these sensors in a lot of places in a That's building, right. a lot of big buildings. So how expensive of a proposition? Yeah, this, this, is, uh, this isn't cheap to do. Yeah. So you're talking about a two block area costs about seventy five hundred dollars per unit oh, it can wow. go as high as two hundred thousand dollars for a total square mile and just so you can get a piece of an idea as to what some of these systems look like this is what's going on in baton rouge right now this gives you an idea this actually has a camera attached to it as well so the oh. camera can zoom in as to where the gunfire took place and this is actually in los angeles uh, so there are different designs different looks some of them look smaller than this and have like a pizza box type of feel uh, oh. that you can't really detect and know well, you know, this is some amazing stuff. Again, it's expensive right now, and that probably deters a lot of people from getting it. But, man, it sure yeah. can come in handy, certainly in situations we've been seeing Absolutely. the past couple of days. Mario, thank you. Good to have you here. We're going to be checking in with you a couple more times this morning. Looking forward to it. Thanks Excellent. so much, buddy. Thank you, TJ. That is great.